I eat to live, but I live to rock. One, two, three, four. I travel the world searching for good food. Making some new friends along the way. The more I eat, the harder I run. I am the food rocker. Welcome to Old Town Dustin. As we walk down, we begin to see the culture and traditions that is Old Town holds. Bits of history surround the streets with places to shop, browse, and relax. Don't forget to listen to some beats, and of course, buy some good eats. Today, we're going to check out one fine establishment here in Old Town Tustin. The Tustin Garage, first occupied by a motor service shop in 1915. Now, this garage is home to the Black Marlin, a bar, fish house, and grill, providing one of the best live music experiences in Orange County. Today, I'm meeting up with Katie Carter, one of the managers here at the Black Marlin. Hello! It's been very nice of her to give us the opportunity to showcase the food here at the Black Marlin. Come That's on, Katie, show me, let's go. Let's go through. Okay, up to you, Katie. Okay, okay. Hi, everybody. Hello. Oh. Hello. That's oh, okay. She runs the floor and helps keep the place up and running along with her crew. The Black Marlin's executive chef is Alfonso Gonzalez. He's been in the culinary business for over 20 years. So let's go take a visit and see what he's got in store for us. I'm excited. My first dish is the Chilean sea bass. Alfonso showed me how he prepared it and I am so excited to try it. We're gonna stir it right now and then we're gonna finish in the oven. Wow. So you basically sear for like so one seven time, minutes. And then, yeah. uh, then we finish it over. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it. The mushroom. My mushroom risotto. Yeah, my favorite. Oh man, look at that piece. Look at that. Wow. I can't there wait to go. try that thing out. <laughs> I'm going to try the fish. I'm going to dig in right away. Look at this piece right here, my friend. Look at it. Huh? Isn't that tasty? The sauce was perfect and the flavors just made me dance. It's the music in my mouth right there. I'm going to sneak into a second bite right here. The softness of the fish was incredible. No doubt it was fresh fish. And 
Not a song right there, my friend. Another song. Right, ready? Ready. My personal favorite. My next dish to try is the seared jumbo scallop. It's an all-time favorite here at the place. Okay. Usually they prepare them medium rare. On the bed of these uh, grilled crustal sprouts, and this is the Cajun bird long. It's a European or French uh, sauce made of uh, butter, shallot, uh, white wine. They call it Cajun bird long. Okay, I'm gonna have a taste of that. Good. The smell is a little bit spicy, but it's not that salty. Let me dig into the scallop right now. Look at this piece. Can you see it? And you dip a little bit in the sauce. Look long sauce. My friend, this is a winner. I love it. You gotta try this dish when you come to this place. This is Katie, the manager here. Hi. This is her. She made this. <laughs> She's, she was the cook for this dish. Yeah, the signature dish here at the restaurant. Our next dish here. This is the fresh halibut from uh, Norway. Okay, pan sear with uh, also, you know, some of the sauce over here, the citrus beurre blanc sauce. So this one, it's got to have some lemon in it or vinegar as opposed to white wine. I'm gonna try it out. Look at the, uh, the presentation, look at the dish itself. Huh? Does it look good to you, look nice to you? It's a beautiful dish. Let's try this uh, citrus uh, beurre blanc sauce here. The fish here is never frozen. It's fresh. That's why you can see, see the texture of the fish. Look at this. It's too juicy, too fresh. Oh. This is the ruby rare seared ahi ahi. They seared them rare. You can see that the piece is really rare. Look at this. Very red inside. You see that? They serve this thing with the wasabi, which is very Japanese, which is, you know, Asian oriental, all right? And they have the rice here too. But the kick to this thing is that they have this soy beurre blanc. Soy beurre blanc. Beurre blanc is like a European sauce, you know, from, from France. But they mix that with the soy sauce. To me, this is like um, East meets West kind of a dish here that they present to, to me on this one. And I'm glad I ordered this dish because look at it, it looks so nice. And look at the, the ahi. Every part of the dish resembles jewels. But luckily, these ones are edible. Australian lobster tail. Baby, I love your way right here. I love your way here. My lobster is here right now, baby. Last but not least, I have the lobster tail from Australia. Look at it. Can't go wrong with this thing. But first, I gotta get some lemon on it. piece that's got a little bit burning I like it
God, let's just eat one yeah. piece without any dipping into mm -hmm. any yeah. butter or anything. I, I, I want to taste the textures and the flavor of the, the lobster being seared or grilled in the kitchen. Still very juicy. And the meat tender too. This pie I'm gonna dip into some butter. And voila! Just the sound and look of this dish sends messages of joy to my mouth. You got the fatty, the richness of the, the butter, and it enhances the you know the lobster in a way. And the way they prepare the uh, the butter is not that it's not very rich, it's just right. So the combination goes really well. You got a balance of both. I'm gonna try some of the spinach here, okay? I'm gonna get some fiber, you know? So I'm gonna some carb. Another wonderful dish. If the other dishes didn't convince you to come to the Black Marlin, then this dessert dish definitely will. Say hello to the Memphis Donut, a glutinous donut fried to perfection, accompanied by a refreshing scoop of the vanilla ice cream. This is no ordinary bread pudding. What a treat to my taste buds. <laughs>
how do you prepare? You okay. make it? We toast the bread uh -huh. for 20 minutes in the oven. Mm -hmm. We first toast it, and then I do the cream brulee mix with the whiskey. So then when we take out of the oven the bread, we soak the bread with the cream brulee mix, and then we cook for 45 minutes, and then we let it rest for another 30 minutes. It's a, like an hour and 30 minutes process, but this, there's the result. <laughs> it's amazing cream brulee. So yes. it's like American yeah. dessert, but with a touch of some uh, European uh, flavor right. in there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Chef Alfonso of the Black uh, Marlin restaurant in uh, Dustin, Orange County, California. Right. Thank you so much. Big hand for the chef. Woo. Thank you for your time. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you guys. Guys, we come to the footnotes now. These are all the things about all the dishes that I try at Black Marlin. And it goes like this. Wow, guys, you know, when I got the first bite into the sea bass, man, I got this wild ride on my motorcycle to this Ionian mode. And it goes like this. <laughs> This one was Katie's favorite, the jumbo scallops, all right? And this one especially made me think of the Dorian mode. And so I got this one for you, Katie. Come on! I hope you like it. As I settle on this dish, it's my third dish anyway, and the taste is still very amazing, all right? It's just that it gave me a very mellow feeling about this fish. And so I don't know how I can express my uh, feeling uh, to you in words. So I like to use this lick here to show my expression about this uh, fish. And, and, and don't get me wrong, the fish was fresh and tasty and juicy uh, to the bone, okay? So I like to take a little bit of uh, my time to mellow on this bite of this halibut and express it to you through this licks I'm gonna play, okay? It goes like this. This is the sea ahi. And in my view, this is the east meets west kind of a dish because of the, the soy beurre blanc, you know? The, the beurre blanc is basically a signature sauce from Europe. And everybody knows soy sauce, right? It's, it's Asian kind of a sauce. So the ahi here seared and looks very raw to me, but the taste was excellent. And I think the chef did a good job in mixing the, the sauce. So the combination of the, 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 the sea ahi and the, uh, the sauce just gives you a very tangy uh, taste. And because of that, it gives you a kick uh, after you tasted the, uh, you know, the, the fish. And for that, I repeat the, uh, the motive uh, several times because I was thinking of one slice, two slices, three slices, like all the slices of the ahi, the way they represent that. So I weigh, so I, 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 I was thinking of uh, this, uh, this run over here, but then 
you know, I just want to represent one. That's like four pieces, four slices right there. You see, I just want to repeat that. One slide, two slide, three slide, four slices. I can't stop laughing when I think about this laughter dish. Tell me, who in this world doesn't love laughter? So we basically saved laughter as the last dish on my main course, you know. And let me tell you, nothing can beat this. Laughter is always my favorite. And I know it's your favorite too, right guys? Okay, so this is the, the sequence lick that I save for this dish. I'm going to play it to you right now, all right? I hope you like it because I love this lobster. It's so fresh and cooked just right. And the lettuce, you know, the veggie that comes with the, the dish was excellent also. Okay, so let's go. I love sweets, so there's no doubt that I had to order dessert at this restaurant. I ordered the uh, Memphis Donut, which is a signature dish or dessert at uh, Black Marlins. And on top of that, they have the homemade uh, bread pudding. So I want to try that out at the same time. My feeling toward these two desserts uh, are very, very melodic, very, very uh, pentatonic. So I like to play a lick to express my uh, impression about, especially uh, about these two dishes, but especially the Memphis donut because it's the best, you know. By talking about this, I kind of want to go back there tomorrow and try it out one more time and basically just sit there and finish the whole donut, you see? So every time you come to this place, you've got to try this donut. And I bet you, I cannot get you wrong. So here I go. Those are all the footnotes that we got for my meal at Black Marlin. Let me go and see what I can put together for you to enjoy after this, all right? So this is the end of the footnotes, but stay tuned. There will be music coming up your way, all right? See ya. <laughs> <laughs>